Shh, come closer. I'm about to let you in on a secret shampoo companies pray you never learn. You see, the gorgeous mane you obsess over each morning? It's nothing like the fur on your cat curled up beside you, or is it? For decades, marketers have whispered that hair is hair. But what if that harmless sentence is the greatest follicular lie ever told? Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll not only uncover the truth, you'll know a simple two-second test to prove it to anyone, your dog, your barista, even your skeptical little brother. Welcome to new anatomy and physiology video. I'm Annie, your slightly obsessed follicle nerd. Picture a Stone Age hunter wrapping himself in wolf pelts while cousin Uga tries to rock a bangs and braids combo using, well, his own head of hair. Two coverings, one purpose, survival, but built on wildly different blueprints. Today we'll journey from icy mammoth steps to modern pet salons to discover why evolution drafted separate playbooks for humans and almost every other mammal on Earth. Spoiler, nature loves plot twists. Let's zoom into the follicle, the tiny skin factory that extrudes every strand. In animals, the core of each hair shaft is packed with medullary air pockets. Think of them as built-in thermos flasks. They trap heat on frigid nights and reflect sun on scorching afternoons. They even repel rain, so water beads off a husky like wax off a surfboard. Humans. Our medulla is a minimalistic afterthought or missing entirely. No insult. But evolution basically said, you lot will invent hoodies, you'll be fine. We can't insulate, so we compensate with campfires, central heating, and regrettable knit sweaters from grandma. Ever felt rain slice through your hair in seconds? That waterlogged scalp is living proof of our follicular fragility. Think about that next time you battle a surprise thunderstorm without an umbrella. But Ani, what about those chic chihuahuas in cashmere sweaters? Aren't they cold? Sure, tiny breeds bred for laps traded dense double coats for Instagram likes. Evolution never counted on Paris Hilton. So yes, sometimes dogs need jackets, just as some of us need hats shaped like avocados. Don't judge. Next, growth choreography. Human strands are lone wolves. They each decide when to clock in or call it quits. That's why you don't molt your entire head every spring. Imagine the drama. Animals, though, operate like a Broadway ensemble. When seasons whisper, costume change, thousands of follicles enter telogen rest together, pushing out the old coat in a synchronized confetti storm we call shedding. One minute your black leggings are safe, the next, they're a polar bear imitation. Ever wondered why your Labrador detonates fur bombs exactly two weeks after the equinox? Now you know, it's Mother Nature hitting the refresh wardrobe button. I once tried to cut my own bangs at 2 a.m. The mirror cried, my soul wept, but the strands kept growing, because human hair doesn't know when to stop unless scissors intervene. Meanwhile, a sheep's fleece grows only to design speck before it politely falls away ready for next season's collection. Now, the piece de resistance, composition. Human hair is a one-layer wonder, uniform thickness, texture, and pigment along each shaft. Animals, on the other hand, wear a two-piece suit. Guard hairs, long, coarse, glossy, the first line of defense against rain, UV, and curious toddlers. Underfur, short, downy, and heartbreakingly soft, trapping warm air like a thermal blanket. Together, they form a living duvet. Remove the underfur from a husky and, well, don't. It's like ripping insulation from your attic, cruel and counterproductive. The fine underfur of Arctic musk oxen, called kiviat, is eight times warmer than sheep's wool and softer than cashmere, fetching up to $400 for a single skein. Suddenly, that sweater shed in the wilderness looks a lot like luxury. Time for our promised twist. Hair isn't just about fashion, it's a courtroom snitch. Forensic scientists distinguish human from animal strands by zooming in on those medulla patterns and pigmentation granules. One misidentified hair sample has overturned murder convictions and, tragically, sometimes let guilty people go free. Yes, the stakes of follicle ignorance can be life-changing. Not so funny now, right? But don't worry, we're about to restore the mood. Quick quiz. True or false, shaving your dog makes summer cooler. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Answer. 
False. You just stripped away their sunblock and insulation. Next question. Human beard hair can be used to knit socks. Believe it or not, true. A barber in London did it. But the socks smelled like beard oil and existential dread. Here's the foolproof party trick level test I teased earlier. Find one shed pet hair and one strand of your own. Place each on a bowl of water. Watch closely. The animal hair, loaded with medulla air pockets and coated in oils, will float longer, sometimes minutes, before sinking, if at all. Your human hair? It'll soak up water and nosedive faster than my GPA in organic chemistry. Congratulations, you've just performed backyard biophysics. There's a melancholic beauty in realizing why we humans lost our protective pelts. We traded them for fire, community, story. Every haircut is a tiny reminder of how far we've come from frosty caves to climate-controlled apartments. And yet, watching my husky nap, wrapped in her self-grown quilt, I'm humbled by evolution's elegance. So tell me, what surprised you most? The floating hair test? The million-dollar musk ox sweater? My 2 a.m. bangs tragedy? Drop your answer in the comments. Let's swap hair-raising tales. If you found value, smash that like button like a cat sheds in spring, subscribe for weekly science adventures, ring the bell so you never miss a strand, and if you want to supercharge our research, tap that thanks button. Sharing this video might save someone's leggings from a shedding Labrador. Be a hero. Hey, I'm Ani, and this has been New Anatomy and Physiology Video. Remember, every strand tells a story. Keep yours curious. See you next time.